Hey everybody, we are going to work on body grabs today. So our very first body grab is called front choke. So we're gonna show you how to do this with a partner and how to do it without a partner. If you don't have someone at home that you have permission to work with, then we'll show you how to do it on your own as well. So number one is front choke. So your partner will go ahead and lightly yeah. grab towards your throat. You're gonna take one arm and the same side foot. You're gonna step directly towards the shoulder capturing the arm. So I'm gonna step, a big step and a big capture here. I'm gonna have my partner turn this way so you can see. I've got a lot of his arms, not just a little on the wrists. I always look first, I'm gonna look low, an elbow towards the floating rib. I'm gonna grab his hands here and then an elbow towards the jaw. I always look before I move. All right, so this is how you would practice with your partner um, in real time. So go ahead and attack. And then come back and we switch places. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how you can practice your body grab if you don't have a partner at home. So I'm gonna start from this direction. So you're gonna take one arm and one leg. It doesn't matter which side. You're gonna step really big at an angle and you're gonna capture the arms. You're gonna look, elbow low, grab the arms, look, elbow high. Okay, so our number two body grab is called back choke. So you're gonna see how to do it with a partner and how to do it without a partner. Okay, all right, so Owen, if you'll go ahead and grab me in a back choke, kind of like the, front, the first one on front choke, you're gonna lift up one arm and one leg, same side, doesn't matter which side, you should always practice both. I'm gonna pick up my arm and my leg, I'm gonna step back and I'm gonna capture a lot of his arms, not just a little or he could pull away. So a lot of his arms. Then I'm gonna punch, knee, elbow all with my free side. As you can see, when I punch, I bring up my knee, and when I'm gonna elbow, I set my knee back at the same time for push-pull. Okay, here, so here's what back choke would look like in real time. So he's attacked. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you back choke from the back side so that you can see it uh, if you have no partner at home to practice with. Okay, so again, I'm gonna pick up one side, same side, arm and leg. I'm turning, stepping big towards my partner to get close, capturing the arms. I'm gonna punch, knee, elbow in order to perform back choke, number two. Okay, so now we are going to do number three, which is high bear hug from behind when someone grabs above where your biceps are. So go ahead, Noah, and if you grab, please. Thank you. Okay, so there are two ways to do this. Our traditional Tong Su Do way is when you clap, you make your chest really big and puffy like a rooster, you bring your hands close, bring it up, shoot out. You look and elbow on both sides. There's also another way to do this. So if Noah grabs super tight on my biceps, I'm gonna take my arms out. Sometimes we call this like King Kong or uh, like your field goal posts. Not way far out, but just kind of in above where my knees would be. Now, the whole motion of this is to do two things at one time. I'm gonna step out and push up at the same time. One by itself doesn't work. I'm gonna step out, push up, okay? I'm gonna look, look, and that's a high bear hug, okay? So he attacks, holding super tight, and I'm going to step out and push up. Okay, so this is body grab number four, which we call low bear hug. If somebody were to grab more at my elbows instead of grabbing up on my biceps, okay, that same move won't work. So to get out of this, if somebody was grabbing me this way, I'm gonna look, I, I shoot out really far on this one because I don't wanna get anywhere close to my partner's knees. I'm gonna side kick out as though I was kicking their knee and stomp on their foot. Same thing, other side, side kick stomp on their foot. Okay, so my partner's already grabbed for number four, low bear hug. This is more what it looks like. Okay, so this one is number five body grab. We have basic one through five body grabs, and this is number five, headlock. So if Sarah gets me in a headlock, use both hands, both hands on your hand, okay? I'm gonna turn my chin in to make it kind of uncomfortable for her, number one, because if I turn out, I can't breathe. Turning in, okay, making that uncomfortable. I'm also gonna take my hand in front, 
to lock out her arm. Now try to punch me, see if you can punch me with that hand. Okay, I lock that out. My free hand back behind is gonna come up. I'm not gonna touch her end tongue right now, but normally it would go right here in the end tongue. My hips are close to her hips. I'm gonna stand up and push back. I'm gonna chop at the solar plexus and palm heel at the groin. All right, headlock, number five. So she grabs me in a headlock, chin goes in, lock out the hand, bring it back, stand up, yeah! 